new shirt goes in and it's getting shipped all the way to New York. What do I look like, your servant? Please? Just for you, <laughs> my master. Decided to tackle this project today, super amped about it. Cool about this is how small and compact they are. This is the, the clutch cover, Melosi MHR cylinder, the Pro Race 77 metric kit. Uh, upgraded clutch with clutch springs. Constantly Orbiting. revolving, it doesn't ever come in and go out. Paul does have a point. I mean, people don't know these things. So, so yeah, that'll mount on there. We'll probably do a 28 PWK. Cylinder kit. This New shirt goes in. So I believe this one's considered silver on our site just because it has silver on it. Uh, but this is basically exact, this is not basically, this is the exact same thing that we have been showing you guys. And then we have this one, which is considered the red on our site. And they're both getting PDI. This one's actually getting shipped. And it's getting shipped all the way to New York. So Dustin's going to PDI both of these, make sure that they're all good to go. And customers should have this probably in the next week or two, uh, depending on shipping, obviously. So if you guys want this one, it may or may not be available but we do have more coming um, we can also special order one if we have them sold out at the moment that you're trying to order them so just go ahead and leave a comment below or give the shop a call message us on the app and uh yeah Hello. Hold on. The radio's going. Oh. oh no. Can you pull pause that for me? So, what do I look like? Your servant? Please? Just for you, <laughs> my master. <laughs> you get used to that. Yeah, I need more. So what's going on today, Mr. Brandon? Um, it's raining. Yeah. Uh, what's going on today? So, it's still, music is still playing. You realize that, right? So I relayed the information to John. Okay. That's all right. So it's, so it's like a train of information. Uh, so it okay. went from Brandon to Pat to me to John. Okay. okay that's all. Perfect. That's efficient. <laughs> yeah, it's like the game Telephone. You play when you when you never played that. Can you telephone this kid? Yeah. No. I bet you he doesn't know about the can the string. You ever done that before? 
We should do that. Across the shop. <laughs> From upstairs yeah, down. Yeah, you're gonna be blown away. Oh, yeah, man. You can talk through a string. I understand that. I just didn't practice that because they grew up in the 21st century. It's rude. Is it rude? Yeah, it's rude. It's <laughs> honest. He yeah. probably doesn't even know what a what dial-up internet no, is. Oh, or yeah. Or Why is this phone connected to the wall via this <laughs> long stringy thing? I'd like to or see a rotary phone. Rotary phone. <laughs> I'd like to see if he could work one of those. He'd be like, he'd be pressing it, trying to figure it out. Uh, anyways, moving on, as Paul would say. Uh, waiting on a few parts for the 200. Uh, so decided to tackle this project today. Super amped about it. What we have here is a Sherco motor. What's cool about this? how small and compact they are it was really easy to get out i'd say it was maybe yeah, it's probably a half an hour job to pull it out of the bike really simple compact um easy easy job and what we're gonna do with this we're trying to get the most horsepower reliability without doing any machine work and that's where um that's where this stuff kind of comes into play uh one of my favorite parts here not really gonna add any performance but it's beautiful uh, this is the this is the the clutch cover So it's gonna sit like this on the motor and what's awesome about this You're gonna be able to see the clutch on the inside. This is a really expensive part But it 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 just to my my opinion it, it makes a big difference on the bike it just looks um, Also, it's probably got an, an updated. I'm sure the the, the cool the cooling passages are probably a little bit better It doesn't have the spot for the oil pumps. The oil pumps gonna go away and it's got the spot for the your kickstart. So that's uh, that's the the super blingy part. Next we have the uh, stage six HPC crank. This is a stock stroke crank. It's just a um, for full circle stuffer cranks, what they call it. Uh, this is going to raise our our uh, primary compression. No machine work, nothing special. Just split it, put it all back together. Um, and on the bores, I haven't decided yet. We've got the um, the team. Melosi MHR cylinder, and then we have the uh, the Pro Race 77 metric kit. Believe it or not, this one I've seen a lot of dynos showing um, 22 to about 24 wheel horse, and they make peak power around 12.9. That being said, uh, I would expect to see 20 to 25 wheel horse somewhere in there. If the bike is doing 62 now. Um, with 11 wheel horse, this should easily be an 85 mile an hour, 90 mile an hour bike with no machine work. But I haven't decided yet what sort I'm gonna go with. I, I feel like I'm gonna go with the metric kit because I've seen more dynos on the metric kit. The MHR is probably just as good if not better. But we're gonna start with this and then we may do this one later. So we may go back and forth between the two. And then we have uh, upgraded clutch with clutch springs. What's cool about these bikes and, and something I don't think we, we brushed over. Part per part, these are actually cheaper to build than a scooter motor because you don't have, um, like for instance, you don't have a clutch and bell, you have just a clutch. This is, Paul, what are these tops clutches? Like 60 bucks for these kits? Uh, I think it's probably a $70 kit for the five springs yeah. and the five clutch plates. So $70-ish, you can't even really get a, you can't get a race clutch for 70 bucks for a That's scooter. And then your bell, if you want a good clutch and bell for a scooter that's gonna handle 20 some odd horse, you're spending $200. Um, so there's a savings there. Cranks are about the same price, cylinders are about the same price. Um, so you don't have a variator on this bike, of course. You don't have a belt. So you don't have to do an over range, you don't have to do a clutch, you don't have to do a bell. Gears, you're not paying for gears, right? Um, because you're, you're well, sprockets. Your sprockets, right? Chain. You're 100, you're 100 bucks for both your sprockets and a chain where gears you're going to spend 100 to 200 bucks on gears um, and gaskets at the end of the day you know this is definitely not necessary but building this the crank cylinder and pipe are going to be the same price as a scooter you just have less components you have to replace so um, i feel like this is a cheaper build for the same amount of horsepower it is you don't have a oh, cbt i suppose for 20 horsepower or if you're yeah. adding yeah 20 20 well even if it's 2100 <laughs> The, the parts are the same, crank cylinder pipe are about the same price, right? Uh -huh. You don't have CVT, you don't do over range, you don't have to buy a belt, you don't need the billet rear pulley. True. However, I know where you're going with this. What? I know exactly where he's going with this. Go ahead, I'll let you take what? this. Take, well, let's, let's hear. It's a motorcycle, it's not a scooter. Well, I understand what I'm saying is mm -hmm. most of our customer, customers are scooter based, right? Yes. So this motor, it's horsepower, a tw building this, a, building a 25 horsepower Sherco. The motor work. It's this is not required. Like Two thousand dollars in parts, max. 
max. I mean, you're looking well, at it right here. This is it, other than so other than a pipe. You're looking at a, a carb so and a pipe. This is it. You need you need ignition too. So to attain 20 plus, you're definitely but gonna need. But if you want to get 25 horse out of a, out of a Zuma versus 25 horse out of this, this is going to be cheaper. You have no transmission. You don't have to do gears. Sprockets are less money than buying gears. Your clutch yeah. is less. You don't have a variator. Yeah, true. Make good variator, 100 bucks, good belt, your 60, overrange, your 400, right? An overrange. Yeah. Plus a clutch and belt. Dude. Uh, CVT, your $600 minimum to do, do an overrange. Overrange, belt. Clutch, bell. And then you want gears. Belt. You're seven to 800 bucks when yeah, true. this, that's all eliminated, well, that's, right? Well, that's about, that's about the same as doing a uh, gearbox in this. It is, but it's, that's, I wouldn't say gearbox it's necessary. Is, at this point, not for 20 Not at this course. point, but uh, your box is about $800. Yeah. Is it, so, and that's, is it weird that I can actually see the prots, the thoughts processing through Paul's head as you're talking ooh. to him? <laughs> no, no, no. So, so, something on the screen, no. like the dial-up internet thing. No, look at, <laughs> keep looking that way. You need a circle like this of thoughts with an arrow coming in and out, and it would be, it would be a scooter. A bang? Keep looking that way while I'm doing the circle. Oh. It'd be a scooter. Scooter, slice of pizza, chicken wing. So when he gets to work, it's just the chicken wing and the mm -hmm. pizza going around and around. And then he gets to work and there's a scooter in there mm -hmm. and there's a bang in there. So there's uh -huh. three things. So it is constantly eight. revolving. It doesn't ever come in and go out. It comes in, goes out, and it goes back in. He, he comes in at like nine. He's like, hey, what, so what are we doing for lunch today? I'm like, Paul, oh, I haven't yeah, thought start, about it yet. You guys start thinking about it and I don't eat breakfast. But he shouldn't think about it because it's three choices. No. It's pizza, chicken, or a burrito. It's also called meal prep. Prep your food, and you don't today. have to do it. Yeah, I did. All right, well, John and I are going to get food. It's fine. Oh, and uh, what are you going to do when you delete the oil pump? Well, this is going on. I under well, I understand that, but what? how are you How are you going to get oil in the engine? I'm going to premix it. Well, maybe you should explain that to your viewers. How to premix? Or if how, how, how premixing pre works? Because if you deleted the oil pump on a Grom, it would be a bad day. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Paul brought up a good point. Because uh, you think, you figure there's probably someone out here who doesn't know two strokes very well, and they think, oh, they're getting rid of the oil pump, how is the engine going to... But they also may oil? be going like, how he deleted the valves in the chain, where you put the motor oil in. True. Well, the motor, the gear oil goes in here, so they're just like, oh, that's a dipstick. I mean, Paul does have a point. I mean, people don't know these things, so, I mean... If you've been following your series, you should be. Uh... Two-stroke motor. Hold, hold on, let Paul do this thing. That's enough. That's good. Uh, can, okay. Can so you go away, please? The oil pump, the, the auto injection pump was here, and it works. The motor spins it around, and it pumps oil into your um, carb, just like a Zuma Elite. Basically, every single two-stroke street legal bike start it is that way from the factory. Um, that's going away completely, and we're going to premix, which. Mm -hmm. I hope you know how to premix by now, but it's a bottle. It's 32. I said we do 32 by 32 to one, so it's 32 parts fuel, one part oil. Um, ounces. You can pick your own ratio you want, but it's going to go in the tank. So there's no longer going to be a premix. There's so you no have to put like you injection. have to put like 32 pieces of oil and yeah. then one piece of, of the other way gas. Around. The other way around. Oh, oh you put them yeah. put 32 pieces yeah. of gas. Yeah. How, that's kind of hard to put like are they like drops yeah or? droplets droplets okay so there's what so what i'm gonna try to do on this bike is the oil tank is on this side what i'm probably gonna do and i i, I would i'd like to do i don't know if the market's gonna be big enough for these yet but i'd actually like to make a um a valve at the bottom so you could leave that oil reservoir there and then have a like a plastic clamp of some sort where you could take a 32 to one or take a premix bottle and clamp it under your fender clamp it somewhere on the bike take it fill it up here dump it in the bike and then replant the bottle back somewhere it's pretty cool but i don't know if if the market's there for that on, on these bikes you know yeah because it's probably going to refuel it's actually i think the tank is like 1.3 gallons which is bigger not, not big than i was okay. expecting yeah. but when we went on that ride how how many miles did you re could you really go i mean i never ran out of gas it has no gas gauge so i don't really yeah. know i rode just fine with everybody i topped it off a couple times and used a half a gallon uh, but that was on a 21 this can be run like a 28 twice the horsepower yeah i know so we'll see i don't really know i mean you could in theory or, or we can make a an, another another tank of gas well, in you there. could fill this with fuel that's probably a half a gallon right there, honestly. Yeah. Have a reserve. Anyways, it's neither here nor there. Oh, 
Uh, also, if you're going to use a Sherco and you're going to mount a phone mount to your handlebars, don't use one that uses a magnet or a quad lock because it broke my phone. That one ride, that last ride I did, that was the vibration broke it, so don't mm. do that. That's, I think we should get some of these. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, where we we kind of got distracted there by Paul. Um, God bless so, us. God like bless us. So, what we got here? Uh, Melosi Reeds is probably not the best ones, but they'll be fine. Um, we've got the crank seals. The cranks, the bearings are in the freezer. We have an upgraded shift drum. Now, these shifters, which I've talked about a million times, you're probably tired of hearing it, they're really notchy. Um, there's a lot of false neutrals too. This is supposed to help. It's a pretty cheap part too. I think it's a hundred bucks, so it's not too expensive. And then we have the wedge intake, which is gonna mount like this, and then we're gonna have a boot on it. So it kind of turns the carb a little bit sideways to clear the shock. Um, so, so yeah, that'll mount on there. We'll probably do a 28 PWK. Um, that's about it. Not really gonna fiddle with, they do make full gear stacks every year, which is really cool. But like Paul said, it's like $800. It's really expensive. Um, but don't need to go that route, I don't think. Um, not gonna do any porting or anything. I'm gonna run this on pump fuel as well. So with what we do here is we ride all of our bikes, except for maybe one or two. One bike is a race bike. Other than that, everything here runs on pump fuel because we want to be able to replicate this for people who are riding on the street. Most people in the USA market are riding their bikes on the street. They're not racing, they're not track racing, they're not doing that. They're just street riding. So if we can, replicate what other people are going to do and note safe on street um that's what we're going to do the ignition for now is taking off the bike probably going to keep it stock right now the mbts are on back order um haven't had great luck with mbts lately we've gotten some wrong flywheels and had a few issues so um i may go with the full race ignition on this guy not super sure yet i don't fully have a grasp on how the wiring is on that bike to be able to wire it to DC yet. Uh, but I'm just gonna keep stock, stock condition for now. It's probably gonna cost one or two horsepower, but at the end of the day, it, even if I get 19 to 20, I'm totally cool with that. So mm -hmm. yeah, so now I'll strip it all apart and uh, start putting some stuff in. Sweet. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> no, okay, so how's this gonna work? Maybe we should sit down and be like, Paul, we need to talk with you. Way to do this. The black looks good. Oh, it would be cool to have a red one, a white one, and a blue one. Yeah. So, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know. Hey, Paul! Come here for a sec. I gotta see if this order makes sense to you. Guy's missing a cylinder kit. Missing a cylinder kit? Yeah. yeah. Damn! <laughs> sure. What? What are you talking what? about? What? Wow. You're what? What? You gotta climb out of it. I oh. thought you'd be all excited. Oh, you mean these? Oof. Do I get like royalties? Dude. Royalties? No. 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 Royalties. Didn't what are you didn't talking I just about? Did I buy you a t-shirt is... yesterday? Did you? Please yeah, yeah. Anna bought you that shirt? Dang. Dang. And the shirt you're wearing came from Scooter Swap Shop? Like two years ago. And the shoes? The shoes didn't. Yeah. Uh, uh. Well, the wages you made here paid for your <laughs> shoes, so technically. So, uh, so what do you think, man? It's pretty sweet. You're like iconic yeah. now. I'm gonna list these on the website today. Are you? <laughs> yep. Okay. Limited run. Get your freedom flapper. <laughs> freedom flapper. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what you got? Freedom flapper. Yeah. Hell yeah. Now you gotta share. You have to share it with everybody Kentucky that knows you. Kentucky waterfall. Is that yeah. What it is? Although the people would think you're racist. You're my chair. I am. I feel. You like it, Paul? You excited? Hell yeah. Open it up. It's a gift. It's a gift, it's a gift from us to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same color as the one you're wearing. Really? Wow, it is all, like the exact same shirt, pretty much. Yeah, it's the same shirt, just like has my face on it. Hell yeah. The eagle in the background? Uh -huh. You like that? Like, you're yeah. going to wear it? Not right now. But I mean, like, are you going to wear it? Probably. Yeah. You know, like, you should you should wear it like on Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Yeah. To celebrate in America. You know. Freedom. After seeing Paul get so angry when that lady knocked over his free typhoon. It wasn't free. Well, it's pretty much free. 
How how is it pretty well, much free? Two hundred dollars. What do you mean? He has you haven't even paid for it. No, yet. we worked it out. Uh, but no, now I'm wondering why he never gets that excited. He was so angry, but I've never seen him his energy level go up that high, ever. Just that one time. Yeah. So what mm. does it take to really trigger? Yeah, one way or the other. Mm-hmm. What does it take, Paul? What does it take to like make you happy and be like, yeah? I honestly don't know. Well, knocking over a scooter makes him the opposite of that. But he's fired up. He's real fired up. Yeah, I don't know what would get me fired up. Well. I mean, it's like, there has to be like, you know, cause and effect. Hey, I pointed the temp gauge at Paul when he wasn't looking. Uh Uh-huh. And it read 89 degrees. Uh That means he's dead. I think he is at 98. 98.6, 98.6, yeah. And if you're lower than that, you're not even alive. But it's a, so. that's an internal temperature, but yeah. I'm pretty sure he's like a robot. No? I think so. Dang, we got sponsored by Dutch Brothers? Something like that. No? He said we were sponsored. Dutch Bros. Dutch Bros. We got sponsored by Dutch Bros. Mm-hmm. Are you happy about that, Paul? Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. I drank two yesterday. Drink one after work. And we're actually working to uh, have our own energy drink one day. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to call it Rubble. Yeah. Rubble. Rubble. And then, yeah. Yeah, so you can dig deep reps, right? Because obviously, if you want to dig deep reps, you want to dig deep reps. You want to dig deep reps. You, deep deep reps, deep rub fuel. you gotta have some deep rut fuel. fuel with your Rubble. Alright. Deep rut. Well, Paul, um, we got sorry, we got I new didn't merch. Get, we sorry, got nerd. I didn't get as fired up as you wanted me to. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what will make it happen. You'll see one day, though. Yeah. One day. That threat. <laughs> Sounds like one. Well, we got new merch on the website. One is this. I just prank him and tell him he's fired. He'd probably get all fired up one day. Ooh. What he would you do? Blood at night and he just, just, just start stabbing, be on the ground, like blood everywhere, and stabbing me to death. <laughs> All right. Well, sweet. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. No fireworks allowed here, though. No. Oh, we're gonna set off. I'm gonna put a TV in the street that hey, has fireworks. Hey, hey, we should, tell, we should tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell everyone who's coming to your house to bring a scooter, and then we'll shoot fireworks at each other off of the scooters. I took my drone and I had these Roman candles. I was going to tape them to the legs and light it and fly it up in the air. So they shoot happy down? I didn't, because these Roman candles were like little mortar launchers. They weren't like the small ones. They kicked. You'd have hold them with two hands, and it would have just started going, and it would have just been flying, shooting them all over the place. I'm glad I didn't, because <laughs> they went, they went really far, and they like bucked back. They were little mini like mortars. They would have just knocked the drone out of the sky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right.